Hello and welcome. You're watching NewsX. I'm Megha Sharma, and this is the 2024 Lok Sabha results that are that we are bringing to you. This is the rolling coverage, and what a phenomenal battle it has been. Taking a look at the BJP numbers, they've not even been able to cross the 303 mark that they had been able to win in 2019 elections. On the other hand, the opposition India Alliance is doing very well. It has at this point of time gotten about. 232 seats we have congress which has comfortably at this point led with 94 seats i'm going to start my conversation joining me on the telecast is mr tom wadakan he is the bjp leader so what is your response the numbers have come in and looks like the bjp is not going to be able to even get the numbers that they had in the 2019 elections that was 303 well mega just i think a little patience is called for we are, uh, we, are we are in the middle of the game uh, essentially this is uh, what in a football uh, match would be say if we have not even crossed the halfway mark so the point here is if you wait patiently the figures will change and we have our belief in our panab pramukhs who have told us that the kind of leads that we will get and we are confident on the feedback that they uh, they have given us okay so, there is going to be now for example in kerala the margins are very small so things change there uttar pradesh things can change so just wait for a little while before taking a conscious decision on any issue okay. because i would say that this decision is basically the people of india fighting the opposition so whatever the people of india decide we accept with grace Okay you you spoke about Uttar Pradesh the pivotal state with 80 seats the performance dismal by the BJP as per the numbers they've not even able to keep the number of seats that they had won last time around 62 in 2014 they had 70 plus uh, they had about 70 plus seats it, the the margin reduced to 62 and now i think you are there in the 30s mega i told you have some patience things will change there are there are situations that are emerging we have reports coming from the ground that the figures are bound to change because of the inputs we have received from our panna pramukhs and we stand by it so i said i only suggest before com- coming to some conclusion on what is happening at the ground let us wait patiently and the whole figure will be put out by the election commission which has come out with a straight bat and i also take this opportunity to compliment the election commission for a very transparent election and a very peaceful election at that and this is the dance of democracy right you know talking about uh, the slogan that had been forwarded that had been led by prime minister narendra modi ab ki baat 400 par do you feel humbled does the bjp feel humbled right now with the results that we are seeing on our screens we have always been a humble party we believe in the people of india whatever verdict they 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 tell us we believe in them we are we are not the ones who blame evms we do not we are not the ones who blame election commission we are not the people who say that we will burn the country we are not the people who will say well uh, it is my dead body against the dm's dead body and uh, what all have they said we believe in democracy if an opposition emerges so be it but we have our agenda clear we have the next prime minister honorable modi ji on a third term with a plan for 100 days and beyond 5 years and 10 years we will do what the country needs and what the people need that's the difference between us and them okay for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon